Hello friends today we are going to smooth a noisy data using origin software to do so i am opening my origin in this i have some data so something along x and something along y so let us first plot this so here we have a noisy data in fact the smoothing is just a 5 second job so to do this first go to analysis option then go to signal processing after that go to smooth and then open dialog so to look at this graph and its smooth curve we can click to auto preview option now i can increase its size so that we can look at it clearly okay i am also zooming it so that we can clearly look at it yes here it is so to look at it closely we can see so here is one black line and one red line so black line is the original data and the red line is the smooth data you can consider is two parts one is this peak and another part in this part smoothing is just a 5 to 10 second job if i just adjust this number and press okay so i will get a smooth curve but we should know up to what extent we can smooth a curve so basically we have adjacent averaging and sevirsky gole two options to smooth our data people usually frequently switch between these two methods but it is necessary to know that which one is okay for which data and up to what extent we can smooth a data so that is the trickiest part you should learn so basically let us start with adjacent averaging we can look that this peak is getting a little bit smoother and this portion is also getting smoother locally now if i switch to sivski gole so in that case we will look that the smooth data is almost same as the data and here also it is the same noisy data but now i am increasing the number of points from 5 to 10 so if i increase this number of points to 10 we will look that in adjacent averaging the smoothness has increased and here also in the second region the smoothness has increased so the local we have removed the local machine noise or any other kind of disturbances from the data and now in case of sevski gole we will find that this is also somewhat smooth which is now respectable better than earlier and here in the second part you will see that here also it is okay now for the same adjacent averaging if i switch to 20 so you will look that this peak is coming little bit down than the original data and the smoothing process is okay only up to a limit up to when you don't lose the information out of your data so this is getting off in this case now if we check at sevski gole so we will find that now this is getting much smoother than earlier and the peak height is almost the same similarly the second part is also smooth now if i increase this to 40 so what will happen in the case of adjacent averaging you will look that the peak height is not the same 
therefore the fwhm of this peak will also change so this kind of smoothing is always unacceptable now let us try this swiski gole option so in this case you will find that this peak is absolutely fine the peak height and fwhm nothing is changing and in the second region as well it is keeping the maximum information of the data unlike adjacent averaging so up to some limit adjacent averaging was okay but after that shivski gole is giving you better results so overall you can choose between these two depending on the fact that they are okay in different ranges and second thing you must not change the information you are getting from your data up to that level of smoothing is absolutely fine with this option if i press okay so now here i am getting one black line which is my original data and one red line which is the smooth data after that if i want the data of this smooth curve so i will go to my book and in this book i have this smooth data so if i like to plot this so i will get this smooth curve which contains almost every information our data had so you can pick any option for smoothing but the most necessary thing is that your data must not lose information the parameters coming out of your data should not change up to then it is fine if you want to do any fitting or any refinement on your data a change in peak information can totally change your results that is not a good practice thanks for watching if you like this video please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel have a good day